Hello my friend, in this episode I'm going to build a real size RC wall E by using foam and plywood. The build plans will be available on the descriptions if you want to build him too. I wanted him to be a little bit function on his arm, at least to pick up something like trash. Because there are so many parts to be cut, so I speed up the process by using laser cutting machine shop near my house. And then begin to build his leg or track base by using plywood and EVA foam. For the shaft, I use 10 mm carbon tube. The track simply made with 3mm plywood and 10mm EVA foam, joined together with roof carpet that I cut it about 1cm wide. These stitch parts are very important to keep the track in line with the guide wheels. And this part is for connecting the sprocket gear to the motor and gearbox. After trying the motor cannot rotate the gearbox because it's too heavy to rotate. So I had a solution by using a pair of gears. This gear has 3.8 to 1 gear ratio. I use this website to calculate and get the drawing. This gearbox is from Hanlong RC Tank Parts. For the electronic, I use the same setup as R2D2 with a pair of car brush ESC 5V u bag radio transceiver. Look, 
for the track controller I just use a computer inside the transmitter I use jumper T16 radio transmitter this is how the program looks like basically just using 11 program and both ESC go to channel 1 and 2 very simple no need to use Arduino or tank controller Here I use 5mm depron foam for detailing the wheels. I already covered all the foam with Oracle vinyl stickers so I can apply paint on them. I also use 5mm foam for his body. FVV camera, why not? I only make one arm movable which is the right arm. This one is the left arm. And this one is the right gripper. You can see it by the use of plywood on some parts. Although the right arm is made from almost entirely foam, still it's too heavy to rotate with 10 kg torque standard servo. So my solution was instead by directly using servo for rotating the arm, I use pulley system like this to ease the servo work.
I find it's quite hard to aim the object to pick up. So I add laser pointer to aim the object like this. The head must be made as light as possible, so I use 3mm foam and 5mm for the former. And I use 3mm plywood for the head gimbal. For the horizontal rotation, I use 360 or continuous rotation servo. And for vertical rotation, I use standard servo.
this is the servo setup for the front ram door. It's time to send him to buy food. I've been waiting to make this old ERC for some time. I already planned to start it on 2016, but never happened until now. I made this video for entertainment purpose. In reality, it's not exactly like that. Like in track vehicle, the more the grip, the less maneuverability. In this case, I use EVA foam for the track, so it has a lot of grip to the ground. Because EVA foam is soft, it makes the robot cannot turn sharply, especially on the asphalt. But it has no problem turning or pivoting on the smooth ground like ceramic tile. I should cover the foam with plywood, but I have not enough time. But I believe it will help a lot. Because track vehicle needs to be able to slide or drift when turning. So it's better to have smooth surface. And of course, the FPV is not that far. In the air, this VTX can reach between 500 meters to 1 kilometers. But on the ground with lots of obstacles like buildings and trees, it only reaches about 50 meters or about 54 yards. And the last one is the construction is too weak. By using plywood and foam, it needs more rigid material like all wood or metal. Actually, I already wrote the script for designing RC plans tutorial here, but the wall E came to mind. So I promised the next episode we will be designing tutorial and building it. The plane will be Zenit 750 SEOL aircraft. Okay my friend, thanks for watching. Thank you for supporting me as a member to my channel. And see you guys in the next episode. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't.